Hi there, I'm Rebecca Bryant, an electrical design engineer for William Sound, here today to present a tutorial on the IC2, our interpreter's console. Now this tutorial is intended for end users and doesn't contain a lot of technical information, so if you're looking for a setup demo, please see our website. The IC2 is designed as a simple interpreter's console and has only the controls that are actually necessary for an interpreter to do their job. Volume and tone controls, blue listening controls, yellow output controls, red microphone controls with a central mute button. On the side of the IC2 console, you'll find several options for microphone inputs. An XLR jack with or without phantom power, two gain controls, which the technician should take care of for you, a pink 3.5 millimeter jack for use with Electrap microphones, like your computer style headset, a green 3.5 millimeter jack for your headphones, and a black 3.5 millimeter jack for use with iPhone compatible headsets. To control the IC2, an interpreter needs to select two things, which channel they're listening to and which channel they output onto. Listening controls are blue and give you two options. If you select floor, you're listening to what the audio that's going over the PA system directly. If you do not understand this audio, simply select your relay option and a language that's common to all interpreters should be provided on this channel. To provide this relay option for other interpreters, simply select your yellow output control. Microphone controls are red and have to be turned off on one side before they can be turned on on the other to avoid accidental bumps. Mute control is central and mutes the entire console. Let me give you a simple example of how the IC2 is used to provide conference interpretation. Today we're at a conference where three languages are in use, English, Portuguese, and Spanish. Today I'll be your Portuguese into English, English into Portuguese interpreter. For the majority of the conference, English will be spoken at the podium. So I'll simply listen to my floor input selection and turn on my microphone. Throughout the day, my partner and I will spell each other by turning our microphones on and off. In this way, we take turns providing interpreted audio for the audience. When a Spanish-speaking orator comes up to present, I'll need to listen to a relay because I don't understand them directly. A small yellow light in the center of my console will turn on when the Spanish booth picks up the relay channel. This lets me know that English interpretation is being provided and I can switch on to the relay input channel to listen to it. I then work English to Portuguese in this manner. When a Portuguese speaking orator get, comes up to the podium, the yellow light in the console, center of my console will turn off, letting me know that the Spanish booth has let go of the relay bus so I can pick it up to provide English for them. To do so, I simply select the yellow relay output light, letting me know that I'm working onto the shared English channel. This provides interpretation for both the other interpreters and for the audience. Some examples of accessories William Sound sells that are compatible with the IC2 include the Mic 68, our dual muff noise canceling headset, or the Mic 44 2P, more of a computer style headset. However, the IC2 is designed to be compatible with much of your existing equipment and will allow you to select from several different options for comfort purposes.